Welcome. Hey, bro. Welcome. Looking forward welcome, to Welcome, Deborah. Welcome. welcome. Thank you so welcome. much. Welcome, oh, my Deborah. gosh. So glad to have you with us. Thanks so much, Johnny and uh, Adrian and Beverly and Marla for inviting me to be here this evening. This is extraordinary. I'm so pumped up already. I'm going to show you, I'm going to share my screen and show you our tower gardens. I started with my tower gardens in 2014 because my uh, friend, Sony Boytu, who's on here with us today, she posted a Facebook page, a picture of her tower garden. I'd been an organic farmer in California, in Northern California. And when I came to Houston, Texas, it was so inhospitable <laughs> to growing that I uh, said, I, I guess I'm not going to do any growing unless it's in pots. And when I saw her tower garden, I thought, this is it for me. And I ordered my tower garden um, and started growing right away. That was in 2014. That same tower garden. That same tower garden is nine years old and it is going strong. Nine years of growing year round. And then in the foreground is the one of the younger towers, which is the standard size with 20 ports growing here. Kale, parsley, flat parsley. Uh, here we have um, beets. I, I put beets in my tower, just little small beets in the ports and grow it grow the beets for the greens alone i love beet greens i love salads with lots of color and so there's red lettuces here and here you can see um kales uh this is a baby butternut squash i had butternut squash um come off my tower this year for the first time and uh, on the other side of this tower here is stevia. I grew my own stevia and made my own stevia, stevia tincture without any kind of additives and it's delicious. Um, so I started with one and then I had to have another one because I wanted this second one just for berries. I wanted to use the lower pH as recommended in the water and I had an abundant crop of berries that first year and second year and abundant cucumbers that were so tender. It was like eating an apple. They were so delicious. Um, I want to mention that um, uh, in Texas, we now have freezes every year. When I moved to Texas in 2000, in 1995, we didn't have freeze. Maybe once every other year, we'd have a freeze. Now we have freezes every year. And I learned that I could put a flower pot on top of right here on the cap. I could turn a flower pot upside down and put a great big contractor trash bag on top of my tower for the freeze. And as soon as the temperature got up above 40 degrees, I would whip it off and I never lost any plants during any of the freezes that we've had now every year. Um, it's so much fun to garden with Tower Garden. And oh, I see a little rosemary plant right there too that's still going strong chives there really is hardly anything you can't grow um, that's green or red uh, bell peppers all kinds of other vegetables and even spinach uh, which is hard to grow in many climates climates i use a spinach variety called malabar spinach and i use the red variety and the green variety which tolerates the the texas sun very very well and is an abundant crop um and um, I have, and I welcome my Tower Garden uh, friends and customers who are on here this evening from coast, literally coast to coast, third coast, the East Coast, um, and uh, and the West Coast, and, and the Houston area. So thank you all for being here this evening and allowing me to share some of my Tower Garden journey. I'm just so honored. Now, one thing to know about me is I'm 72, so I'm a sizzling 70-year-old. <laughs> and I have a blog on Facebook called 60 with a 50-year plan. I intend to live to be 120. I'm living as though I'll be 120 and vital. And um, uh, I challenge anyone to beat me <laughs> at that game. And I'm on no medications. I've been on Juice Plus. Um, 
for nine years and I got off um, high blood pressure medication and cholesterol medication within six weeks of taking my Juice Plus for the first time on a daily basis. And I've released about 34 pounds. Um, I was a yoga teacher um, in California and I am very flexible and I have a lot of stamina and endurance. And it's all because of choices that I make on a day-to-day basis, very simple choices on a day-to-day basis that so um, uh, make it possible to have this business um, be my plan A business at this point in my life because I own, uh, I left my corporate nonprofit job uh, because I knew I could have this business and have it work for me. And then I uh, put back in place a concierge business. I'm a professional organizer and I do that and love it. And I can do it when I want and I can do my juice plus business when I want. And, um, uh, and it's been great. If it hadn't been for my juice plus income during the pandemic, we would have been sunk. Because I could go, I could go and do my Juice Plus business online on the phone. Um, I could do video presentations and and uh, go to events and socially distance and uh, just have a great time doing it. So thank you again, the hosts of this Food for Thought group with your weekly events, and a special shout out to Marla who invited me and. Uh, provided me the structure to uh, be with you today. So thanks so much.